In August 2009, a film crew of 14 embarked on a journey to find ordinary South Africans who were making a difference in their community. Ordinary South Africans who would form part of a new movement of responsible men called Brothers for Life. South Africa is beginning to see a marked change in the HIV epidemic. HIV prevalence is reducing among teenagers and condom usage is increasing among youth. But new HIV infections amongst adult men remain stubbornly high, particularly amongst older men. Brothers for Life is the first national effort that brings together government and civil society to mobilize men across the country in a movement to speak out, take action, and to make a positive contribution towards the fight against HIV AIDS. The vision was to create a launch commercial with a difference. With no cast, but rather exemplary citizens, nominated by the women of their communities to be part of this ambitious, historic initiative. A very important aspect to this film, obviously, was how do you identify the individuals who we're going to film? How do we know that they really are the real deal? And how do we get to them um, in the time that was allowed for the production to happen? Um, and then Leanne, who did this extraordinary job of, in a very short space of time, finding these individuals um, who, in retrospect, were the most amazing people and who exposed us to so, so much more than just their own manifesto, but the lifestyles that they were leading and the contribution that they were making to the communities where they live. Thank you. Okay, bye. Hi, Raven. Hi, How are you? I'm okay, you. Good, good. Cool, man. Nice to meet you and finally put a face to the voice. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like an uncle in the community that tells the kids, get off the street, why don't you go to Sunday school, why don't you behave yourself, you know? Fully. That's, that's the kind of guy, he's the uncle. The process to finding the cast was basically we had to find men that did community work, men who helped women or children, men that were in long-term relationships or married, that had kids, stable, solid guys, between the ages of 25 and 60 years of age. Speed. 38, take three. Market. Set. And action. There is a new man in South Africa. A man who takes responsibility for his action. I am that man, and you are my brother. I think for me, the Brothers for Life campaign was something that was something I always believed in, but I guess, you know, when it came along, it was, it was easy to, to jump on board and support it because I grew up in a community where, I guess, we were a generation of men raised by women you know, um, single mothers were the order of the day in the household. We grew up in a world where we had no male role models to look at. I think Brothers for Life is just, it's a great focus. It's something to aspire to be, you know, to be a man who does take responsibility, to be somebody who's, who's accountable, to be somebody who people look up to. <laughs> Once we come up with this name, Brothers for Life, we needed something that would express it an visually. Icon. An icon. A graphic of sorts. Yeah. Visual mnemonic, if you want to call it that. Quite coincidental that at the time, we were in our office, and just as we naturally would do, I came in and I sort of greeted Vums as, you know, as, as we, we always do. do. As we always do. And while we did that, we actually noticed that when you've got this, you actually have a ribbon there. We needed something that would um, encapsulate, in layman's terms, what it is that this brotherhood would stand for. And that's how I think we came up with the manifesto. You know, what kind of man it is that we're talking about, or what kind of man 
we have a vision of creating in the country. The production of the advert presented a unique opportunity to ignite the very fire the ad is advocating. So with the help of various partners and NGOs, the crew set out to the diverse landscapes of the country with a symbolic black tent to find men who were prepared to make the pledge on television for everyone to see and hear. I think that's one of the things that this process has done for us. Like every time we arrive at a place, people have been asking, you know, who are we? What is it that we stand for? Um, you know, why are we there? And, and just to see all these different members of their communities stepping forward and saying that if this is what this movement stands for, it is definitely something that we want to be part of. <laughs> Traveling ahead of the crew was pretty stressful because I was traveling with a location scout. We had to find a location to shoot somebody in, so it had to be interesting every time around. We couldn't repeat locations. So in some regards, there were places that we were going to that we anticipated because we had been to before. I have been into the Baobab Forest and the Northern Limpopo before, and I knew that as a, as a landscape, they were really beautiful. I particularly steered a portion of the, uh, the production through that area. I also knew that the Drakensberg would be a really beautiful backdrop for the kind of statements that were being made. Originally the agency called me in to brief me on, on this commercial. I didn't know what it was for. I knew it was about uh, an AIDS initiative. The core of the idea, which is the, this manifesto, which is a, a declaration by a new group of responsible men, and it's about uh, a code of behavior, a code of ethics. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, so you'll get... Your husband has a little rhythm, I suppose. Ah, uh, he, he will... And he does have to find something. Oh, well, we'll, we'll look to you. Something. For me, the thought of going into far corners of South Africa and finding men who really were living their lives by this code. What I really liked was that they had this very simple way of photographing these individuals in a black studio. So it occurred to me that it would be really interesting to have our own black studio and to take it with us, which is where the tent came from. The first line of the manifesto says there is a new man in South Africa. Our biggest inspiration for a line like that was we needed something that would grab attention. We needed something that would capture the audience. And the best way to describe what we're trying to do here definitely is to create a new man. And I think by that we're not saying that all men are bad or whatever the case may be, but we are saying that there is a reputation that has been built over years. We're all conditioned to thinking that things have to be that way and we needed something that was going to go against that convention and represent more, more like a, a mindset, a new mindset, you know, like a new man in South Africa. There's a new man in South Africa. 
a man who takes responsibility for his actions. I think one of the most shocking things for us was just when we were looking at all the research and the statistics to see how many men in South Africa actually are involved um, in creating kids, a lot less rather become involved when it comes to raising those kids. And, and that's one of the things that we started talking about when you talked about um, responsibility for his actions. Not only that, acknowledging that in every situation you always have a choice and it's about making the right choice. As an elder with a wife and seven children, three of whom are girls, I want to see them live a beautiful life. I want all my children to have children so that I can have grandchildren who will have other children so that I can be confident that there's a life for them which is beautiful. Anything that can disturb my dream for the future of my children, AIDS, HIV, is an important challenge for me. Ready and roll the camera and action. Yeah. So then just put uh, tied up in croc clips or something. Personally it was really interesting that we got all the, the members of the, the crew to say part of the manifesto um, at the end of the shoot. What was really interesting was to realize that the, the gathered bunch of gypsies that went with us on this, on this trip pretty much embody the very values that that manifesto lays out. I am that man. You are my brother. You are the beautiful well done. I am that man, and you are my brother. I am that man, and you are my brother. From the words of the man who penned it. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that's a wrap. Oh, sweet. Thanks, everybody. After 10 full days of shooting, in over 30 different locations across seven provinces, a 7,800 kilometer journey had come to an end. Scores of men had enlisted themselves to propagate this new movement, which seeks to start a fire that will spread across Southern Africa. I think that the major contribution that I will eventually have made to this thing is that it's true, that this is an honest film, that it's a piece of communication that is hopefully going to make men think about their own conduct and change their conduct because ultimately what we're trying to do is save people's lives.